Hey everyone, so I'm going to now teach you about adding hyperlinks and adding animations. So first of all, we're going to talk just a little bit about hyperlinks. Um, so here you can see I have two hyperlinks in here. One is for in the ocean and one is for stay on the beach. So if we choose this, here's our Mr. Crab guy. So where should he go? So if we want him to go to the ocean, we can choose that. And there he is in the ocean. Or if we want him, I'm just going back there. If we want our Mr. Um, crab to go to stay on the beach, I click on stay on the beach. And there he is on the beach with the bird. Uh-oh, look who he meets, Mr. Bird. What should he do? Now, I don't have transition, or I don't have any hyperlinks here yet, but I'm going to show you how to add one. So I have already this slide ready. This is the slide that's going to be if he does run away. So I'm going to select this right here and I'm going to add my hyperlink. So I go to insert and I choose link and then I'm going to choose slides in this presentation and that's slide five. So I wanted to go to slide five. I click apply. So now if we present, I click run away. It takes us to that slide where he runs away as you can see. So I added in that animation to have him run away. So now I'm going to show you about working with animations. So I don't have any animations yet on this slide. If I click on a person on a character, I can click animate and now I can choose how do I want him to animate. So I think I want to have him and these are all the options. There aren't that many options. If you chose to use PowerPoint, you'd have a lot more options. Um, as you can see, you can have them appear and disappear. You can have them fade in or fade out. You can have them fly in from the left or from any of these other directions. You can fly out any of these directions, zoom in, zoom out, or spin. Spin is the only one that is not leaving or coming. Um, so it's, there's not that many options, but if you could choose a character that would like to spin, that would be useful um, for your story. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just add in some uh, some animations. So first of all, let's have the let's have so we click on our object, we click add animation. I want to have him uh, fly in from the right or swim in, but it's called fly in here. So fly in from the right. I want to have the the crab, Mr. Crab, fly in from the left. So now if I present this, you can see it'll start with nothing. I click and in comes Mr. Crab, and I click and in comes Mr. Fish, okay? So now I just wanna talk a little bit about animations. If you wanna have multiple animations, like let's say you want the, the crab to fly in and then you want him to spin, so I'm gonna add that in. Spin, because he's so happy to see his friend. Mr. Fish, but actually you want the spin to happen first. You can change the order. You can also um, change how it's happening, if it's happening on the click or if it's happening with previous or after the previous a certain time amount. You can also change how fast or how slow they do something. Let's say I want to slow spin very slowly. We'll see what that looks like. I'm going to add in one more animation. I want to also have him uh, I want to have the crab zoom out, but I want him to do that after the after the um, after the fish. Oh, does that not work? There we go. So then I'm going to click play, and we'll be able to see all those things happen. So first of all, the crab comes in. He spins very slowly. Then the fish comes in, and then he zooms out. So there, there you go. That is a little bit about working with hyperlinks, adding hyperlinks, and then also, um, so you go different places in the in, in the presentation, um, and then also working with animations. And so that's all I need you to know. So you are going to create a story like mine that has multiple options for changing. Oh, I have to click stop. Uh, multiple options like this for changing the story and taking you to different places and multiple endings. Check the rubric for all of the all of the expectations and let me know if you have questions. Thanks.